rule number three. Compromise. But Che comes from a very rough family. You can't blame him. I mean, two of his brothers are inside. Francis is in for hitting a Russian chap over the head with a bottle outside the pub. Which was uncalled for because the chap was only talking on his mobile. But Francis was always mad. I remember even when we were little and we'd be on the swings. And him and his friends would be legging it across the flat roof and the squad car would be coming around looking for them. Judge was sick of the sight of him, he said. <laughs> so we gave him five years. So he wouldn't have to look at him for the next five years, I suppose. He'll be out in three, of course. And Paul's in for two for robbing stuff. Loads of stuff, in fairness. A whole container of stuff. And the ma was dead proud. Well, at least someone in the family's got a bit of blade and ambition, she says. In the door, mix. And I'm feeling like a bit of a tool, because all these blokes are old. At least 35, and I don't know a knack in cold, so we find a seat in the back row and do the smiley noddy bit. And Big Tony, who must be 20 stone, gets up to talk about his new clock and in machine, and everything's grand when... Oh, shy. And I can see her swallowing down an answer, and she says, Did you have any breakfast, love? I'm not hungry, I say, which was true a minute ago, but right now I'd eat the leg of the table. And I think of Rayo sitting on the wall outside, and he's probably starving too. She must be psychic, because she goes, do you want to invite him in? And I'm like, what? Because the thought of Rayo in this house would be just too weird, because he's so cool, and this place is just so nerdy. Uh, no thanks, Ma, I say, and she's killing herself not to have a go at me. Tell you what, I'll make a nice rasher sandwich for the two of you. And there's 347 euro on the table I'll set out. And I say, thanks, Ma, that'd be lovely. <laughs> <laughs>